Val Demings. Thank you so much to the gentlewoman from Texas. Madam Speaker, as you know, our nation was created with the highest ideals and values. Our new nation was set aside to be a beacon of hope where we could build our hopes and dreams and calm our fears. We're known as home of the brave and land of the free. Yes, the history is clear. When President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, America demonstrated its ability to rise to its values. But America's history, as we all know, is complicated. For it took two years from January 1st of 1863 to June 19th of 1865 for the last group of enslaved Americans to receive official word that they were indeed free. But we know today, Madam Speaker, that our work is not yet done. We are still a work in progress, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, we are a work in progress. Let us celebrate Juneteenth as we should. But celebrating freedom must be more than just a special day. It must be a celebration of who as a nation we say we are. One who says we believe in justice for all. Yes, America celebrates being free, or celebrates our freedom from physical bondage, but we must also celebrate freedom from discrimination. We must also celebrate freedom from racism. We must also celebrate freedom from poverty. We must also celebrate freedom from injustice, and we must also celebrate freedom from complacency. Mrs. Coretta Scott King said this, struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it with every generation. Madam Speaker, regardless of the color of our skin, what state we are from, how much money we have in the bank, our religion, our agenda, or our political party. We all have an obligation and we all must carry the torch of freedom. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much to our chair who's leading this special order hour. And with that, I yield back. I can't imagine with the 